What's going on? This is a how to to replace your valve stem oil seals without uh, all of the correct tools. If you're like me and you don't want to buy expensive tools, and when you're only going to use them one time, basically all you have to do here, obviously you got to get to the seal, so you just got to get these keepers out, the retainer out, the uh, valve spring out, get down to the seal, yank that out. Um, that stuff's fairly easy. It's kind of a pain to pull out the um, old seal, but um, it's easy to put the new one back on. And then the trickiest part, which took me the longest to figure out and find a way to do it, I actually saw it on another video, but I kind of had to watch multiple videos to figure out how to do all this together. So I figured I'd make it easy for somebody else. And by the way, this is a um, 7M GTE for a 1990 Toyota Supra. I'm doing all the uh, all the seals there. So first things first, we got to um, got to get the spring out. So I just go all I do here. Oh, if you don't already know, hopefully you do. Uh, you got to find a way to um, keep things from dropping into her, uh, into your cylinder. I used the uh, rope technique. Um, there's other videos on that if you need to learn how to do that. But basically, you just stuff rope in there so that way, if anything comes loose, um, it only has the rope to fall onto, and it's not going to go anywhere because it's it's uh, compressed up. So. All I use through all of this is a couple sockets. Um, you definitely want to have a uh, magnet, those ones that extend. Uh, to get these uh, these caps off, I just use a magnet and you can pull them right out. For this, just use a socket and I actually use a plastic bag as well. So, a couple sockets, plastic bag, hammer, pliers, that's all you need. Alright, so. Let's see here. To get these guys out, I got a 5 8 right here. So I use my 5 8 and I got a sledgehammer. You're gonna have to give me give me a break too, because the uh, my camera's kind of right in my working space, but I want I want to have a good look view on it, so. Put the socket on here. I got a sledgehammer that is tap. Well, I wouldn't say tap, I hit it kind of hard to break everything loose. So, give it a good couple wax, everything should break loose. There's one out. I'm gonna grab that with my magnet real quick. Just set that aside. Make sure you're putting everything in a clean place. Remember, it needs to go in the exact same way that it came out. I'm gonna bang this other one out. Come on. There it goes. I'll grab that. My magnet. Got a little magnets. All right, so got my keepers out. Got my spring here. Okay, so in there you got your old seal. I grab that out. All I use for that. So pliers, that part's in my opinion that's the hardest part just because it's a pain in the ass. 
Maybe it's just me because these these seals are about 25 years old, I'm guessing. And if you're wondering, we're on the exhaust side of the engine, not the intake. So I just go down there, squeeze it real tight. The pliers kind of try to wiggle it out. That kind of hurt. There we go. So, there's your old seal. Not in the best shape. Not after I was done with it. Seal. I soak it, soak it in some uh, fresh oil before you put it back down there. All you gotta do is set them on there. Right there, it pops right on. Just push it down as far as I can. Okay, so. I do from here. I just got a 10 millimeter socket, a deep well socket. Just push it down as far as you can like that. Next, take my sledgehammer again. And just tap it in there. Make sure it's nice and firm down there. When you're setting these, you want to make sure they're nice and firm down there because if they're not, you just wasted your time. I'm going to give it one more. Keep in mind, I never said this is the right way to do it. It's just a way to do it. Okay, so now our new seal's in there. Now the tricky part is once we put our spring back in there is setting the keepers back in there when you don't have that little tool to do it with. So, all right, let's go ahead and get that going. And get your spring back in there. Set my spring back in. There it is. Okay, so got my spring there. Now I'm gonna put my retainer back in. Um, when I put my retainer back in, um, I put the the keepers in it before I set it in there. I'll show you what I mean. Okay. 
So there, I got my keepers and my retainer. Alright, set in there. And let's try to try to center it the best I can. With the stem there. No. Here's a cool part. All I use a little plastic baggie. And then I use my 5 8 whatever that There it is. Okay. So, just set this right over there. Basically, what I'm going to do is by hand, I'm just going to push this back in there, and the bag keeps the. Uh, does a decent job of keeping the retainers getting pushed in there and it's also cool because the problem is if you don't do this right you think it's locked in but it's not those uh, those keepers they're gonna fly across the garage in this way hopefully if the bag is still on there again hopefully they won't fly everywhere so that's it I'm gonna grab my hammer Let's set it over like that. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't need a hammer. That's what I'm thinking. All right, so I'm just gonna press it by hand. Okay. That doesn't always happen the first try. Sometimes it takes a couple tries, but let's see here. Nope, it went through my bag. Hold on. <laughs> That's because I used that bag a few times already. One second. There you go. Set that back in there. New bag. Try to. Okay. Set that over just like that. Got one of them in there. Yep, there you go. Got it set back in there. See there? What I gotta do now? Go ahead and put the cap on. I'm good to go. Uh, yeah, so that's how I did it. It works. A um, couple sockets, hammer, magnet, plastic bag. That's all I needed. Thanks for watching.